Welcome to Market Mornings brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. My name is Robert Roy and this update is for Monday, December 5th, 2022. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Keeping in mind that everything we look at is for educational purposes only. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. And if you like what you see, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, follow us along on the other social platforms. I'll leave links to all of these down in the description below, but make sure you check out TradingLikeABoss.com, which has all of our free content on it day in and day out. All right, let's go ahead first and take a look at economic reports and see what the heck we got going on. So today we have one major report. It's PMI, uh, Purchasing Managers Index. It comes out at 10 a.m., so be careful. It's red, so there could be disruption in the market from the announcement of that report. <clears throat> PMI tells us how purchasing managers are doing with buying things. Is it costing more, costing less? It is a major indicator the Fed looks at for raising rates, which comes next week and then not really much happening until friday major anyway which is the ppi producer price index one of the two major components the fed will be looking at as well uh for what happens next week all right let's jump in so we've got a list built out here of stocks that we want to consider today the very first one is alibaba we've got a main theme here today and that is china a lot of what we're dealing with today is china related so on Alibaba, as many other China stocks, uh, Morgan Stanley came out and gave a lot of these China companies an upgrade to overweight, which basically says they call their customers and says, buy uh, these stocks. How much of them? A lot. We're overweighting it. Put more emphasis in your portfolio on these individual companies. Buy, buy, buy. Right? That's what they're telling their customers is to buy. Right? Alibaba is the very first one. Uh, Baba right now is up a couple of bucks in pre-market. They are up four dollars and thirty cents to ninety-four and a quarter. So where does that put them? Woo, baby, all the way up here. Eighty-eight to ninety-seven. That is nine dollars. I don't need a fibbing in there. So we're gonna look at a bull put spread below eighty-eight. Next is Badu. Same thing, different stock, same thing, right? Uh, Baidu is up five dollars and sixty cents to one nineteen half. Ooh, baby, nice. Right now they're up here at one nineteen and a half. Actually, the exact number is one nineteen forty, is where they're at. So they're not a whole lot above that. So here's what we're gonna do: bull put spread below one eighteen, and I'm gonna write aggressive next to it, meaning take a small amount of contracts or a bull put spread below one ten. Don't know how much or if any premium you're going to get for it, but it's all based on the chart, not based on what I get. If you don't like the premium, you don't do the trade. You don't change the levels. All right next, we have CVX, which is Chevron. Same scenario on oil. Uh, it's the expectation. Oil is up on the expectation of trying to come back online sooner than it was anticipated. They're up $1.17 to $82.20. $182.20. So $75 to $86.00. Uh, we got ten dollars in here. Yes, we need to split these levels in half. So we're going to add a negative one three six level and a one one eight, which is what we need right there for that. Okay, so now we're sitting at one eighty two twenty right now. So we're going to look at a bull put spread below one eighty two. I like all the congestion, the moving averages there, the wedge pattern happening, the nice break to the upside, all looking good. JD, just do it. JD got the same thing. Uh, actually, yep, Morgan Stanley's overweight because of China. Same thing as Baidu and Baba. Uh, right now, JD is up $2.81 to 61 and a half. Nice. So we're going to look at that $58 level. So we're looking at a bull put spread below 58. All right, Neo. Now, much lower price stock than some of the others that we've looked at. They're part of the China deal right now as well. Right, the over, Morgan Stanley overweight. So they're up to fourteen dollars, not one fourteen, fourteen dollars, right? And Jingle, right? They were a much higher price stock way back when, all right, than they are right now. But they're up above that thirteen eighty six. So we're gonna look at in an ideal world, we're gonna look at a naked put on this with a delta of about twenty. Right now, so a naked put. We're looking at the 12 and a half put right now for, 
12 and a half for 34 cents. All right, it's going to change. So if we go by the numbers and say we've moved a dollar, this is based on Friday's close. We're looking at 11 and a half. You're going to pick up 12 cents, uh, 15 cents on that 11 and a half. Somewhere in that range is what you'll probably get today uh, for that num- for that uh, price. All right, we'll see what it comes out to be. But ideally, that's what I'm looking for. Potentially, buy the stock right at covered call. If you bought the stock, you're looking for a 40 delta. Uh, dot, 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 dot. We could sell the 14 and a half for 21 cents. All right. So either way works. I would rather sell the put, get paid, no cash out of pocket. I need a little bit on the side for hold. Uh, but and then if I get if I own the stock, if I wind up getting the stock, then and only then will I write the covered call against it. All right. Lastly is Starbucks. Uh, they got a downgrade from Deutsche Bank today. They're down a dollar 28 to what we'll call it 104. So great move, man. This has been a rocking stock, right? Great move to the upside. It's dropped from 105 to 104. Ah, okay, so what? The pattern is there. It's bullish. Overall, your news didn't drive it enough to change my mind. Next. Capital letters, next. Guys, all I'm doing is jot it down on my paper here, just like hopefully you guys are as well at home. All right, there you have it. Have a great rest of your day. Keep rocking it. Be careful with that 10 o'clock appointment or announcement rather, not appointment. You don't have an appointment. They have an appointment. With your 10 o'clock announcement and I will see all of you manana at the next one. All right. Bye for now.